Okay, we're going to be covering chapter 4.3 and 4.4, and these are both focused on factoring. So we're going to be solving x squared plus bx plus c. So this could be x squared plus 2x plus 3, anything in which the b and c are constants that are not zero. So we have, um, within this section, we have the definitions of binomial and trinomial. And so a binomial has two terms, hence the bi, 1, 2. And a trinomial, trinomial has 3, 1, 2, 3. Our directions will be to factor x squared minus 9x plus 20. So when we go about solving this, we want our two factored um, parts. We have this one and this one. They're going to take the form of x plus something. And these two, when we multiply them, we want to get 20. And when we add them, we want to get negative 9. So we could have x minus 4 and x minus 5. So if we multiply this out, we get x squared minus 5x minus 4x plus 20. So this is these are factors of our equation. So this is right. So our answer for this problem would be x minus 4 times x minus 5. Next, our second problem is to factor x squared minus 3x minus 12. So I'm realizing now that this should actually be negative 4 and not negative 3. So we want our two, we want to find two numbers that when multiplied together equal negative 12 and when add together equal negative 3. So x plus 2 and x plus 6. Those make negative 12 and negative 3. So x, we can check that by solving, and we do indeed get x squared minus 4x minus 12. So now we're going to be factoring equations that have a constant as their a value. So this a is, in this equation, this is a 5. So 5x squared minus 17x plus 6. We're going to factor that. And now we still want to have two numbers who, when multiplied together, they make 30. And when added together, make negative 17. But if you think about it, if you just go about solving it like we did the other problem, we would have x plus something and x plus something. But when you multiply those together, we wouldn't have this 5 here. And we need to have that in our answer. So what I like to do is just oops, just stick a 5 in front of both of them, and we can get rid of one of them later. So then we're going to think about our two numbers, and two multiples of 30, 2 and 15. If we have negative 2 and negative 15, when multiplied together, equal 30. I'm going to add together equal negative 17. So this fits our requirements. So we can put negative 2 and negative 15. Now 5x minus 2, that will stay as one of our values, but we can simplify this one. If we divide both of these by 5, we're left with x minus 3, and now we only have one 5, which is what we want. So our answer is 5x minus 2 times x times x minus 3. So we're going to solve our second problem b the same way. So we want two numbers that when multiplied together, these two numbers, we get negative 21. And when added together, we get 20. We will have 21 and negative 1. So 3x three, three plus 21 and 3x minus 1. Putting 3s in both of our x's once again, and then we can divide this by 3. So we have x plus 7 and 3x minus 1. And if you check either of these answers, you will see that they get the original problem.